Prepare for the TOEFL listening section with this sample conversation. Listen to the conversation, answer the questions about it, check your score at the end of the video, review the conversation to understand the correct answers. Subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice with conversations. Hi there. Uh, how can I assist you today? Um, hi. So I'm working on this research paper for my psychology class. The topic is uh, about the impact of social media on teenagers' mental health. And um, I'm having a hard time finding the right sources. My professor wants us to use scholarly articles, but I'm not really sure where to even start looking. Well, that's actually a really important and timely topic. I'd be happy to help you out. So let's start by narrowing down your search a bit. Have you uh, tried using any of our online databases? Honestly, I haven't. I usually just, you know, Google stuff, but I'm realizing that most of what comes up isn't uh, very reliable or scholarly. So that's kind of why I thought um, I should come here and get some guidance. Good thinking. And look, while Google is handy for general info, academic databases are really where you want to go for, you know, peer-reviewed, credible sources. For what you're researching, I'd suggest starting with two of our go-to databases for psychology and social sciences, PSYC Info and Soci Index. They've got a broad range of articles specifically on psychology, sociology, and topics in those areas. That sounds like exactly what I need. But um, how do I, like, search for articles effectively? I tried typing social media and mental health into Google, but it was kind of overwhelming and I didn't really get anything um, super useful. Now here's the trick. Use specific keywords and make sure you apply those filters. You could start with something like social media and teen mental health. But to narrow down the results, try to add some focus terms like impact, anxiety, depression, or self-esteem. And uh, don't forget to use those filters to get recent publications or, you know, peer-reviewed articles. That makes sense. So it's kind of like adding layers to my search terms to find more specific results. Think of it as drilling down into your topic, right? And if you're exploring different angles, like maybe the positive and negative sides of social media, try um, keywords like benefits of social media along with negative effects of social media. You might also want to check out related terms like screen time, cyberbullying, or social media addiction, depending on your focus. That's helpful. I didn't realize that, like, keywords could make such a big difference. So, um, what about the quality of the articles? How do I know if an article is worth including in my paper? Definitely aim for those peer-reviewed articles. They're, you know, vetted by experts before publication. Most databases will let you filter for those. Also, check out the abstract first. It's a quick summary. If that lines up with your research, then the article's probably a good fit. Uh, I see. And um, is there any way to find sources that are more uh, opinion-based, you know, to get like a sense of different viewpoints without just um, relying on research studies? It's also okay to look at things like editorials, book reviews, or opinion pieces. They might not be scholarly, but they can give you a broader perspective on the topic. Just filter your search by publication type to find those. That's perfect because... Um, I need to compare a variety of viewpoints in my paper. Oh, and one more thing. What if I need books? My professor said I should, like, also include some books as sources. We've also got plenty of physical books and ebooks in our collection. You can use the library's online catalog to search for stuff like digital culture, adolescence, or media psychology. And ebooks, yeah, those are super convenient since you can access them from anywhere. If you need help navigating, let me know. Great. That sounds like it'll be really helpful. Is there a way to um, access books from other libraries, too, in case I don't find what I need here? If we don't have a book you need, you can always use our interlibrary loan service. But honestly, with your topic being so popular, you'll probably find a lot of what you need right here. Still, it's nice to have the option if you're looking for something really specific or hard to find. Sounds good? Thanks for all the tips. I feel a lot more prepared to start my research now. I'll start with the databases and um, see what I can find, then check out the books after that. Remember, if you run into any trouble or need more guidance, just come by or drop me an email.
Good luck with your paper. One, what is the primary goal of the student in meeting with the librarian? Two, why does the student mention having used Google for their research? Three, according to the librarian, which keywords should the student start with to find relevant articles? Four, what does the librarian mean by suggesting to add layers to search terms? Five, what can be inferred about the student's approach to research before meeting with the librarian? 